Hello everyone, welcome back to another NFL video. In this video, I'll be giving my conference championship game uh, uh, recap, so let's get into it. The first game was the 49ers and the Eagles. A very, you know, exciting matchup going into it, but was not a very good game. You know, maybe I thought it would not be a good game if it was a lower scoring game, but, um, you know, one team scored a little, little amount and the other team scored a lot. It was a blowout. The 49ers lost pretty early. You know, Josh Johnson, you know, against a very good defense was not going to do much. So, you know, that game was pretty much over as soon as he got hurt. I mean, you know, when they were down big, you know, like, though they, all, all they could do was run the ball with McCaffrey. You know, McCaffrey's great. Their offensive line is pretty nice. But, you know, when you're down by, you know, 20 points and you, it's the third quarter, you know, you're battling, you know, so much. You, there's you, you, The defense knows what you're going to do. You're going to run the ball. And you're down by a lot of points. And you're, you have to work against the clock. So, you know, at that point, you know, the game was pretty much over. Could they have played well, definitely. Could they, could, they, could they have definitely won if Brock Purdy was playing? Yeah. I mean, I think their offense wouldn't, you know, be stagnant. You know, they would still pass the ball pretty effectively. I still think Philadelphia would win, but, you know, a potential very good, you know, game was kind of ruined with that injury. However, Philadelphia is still a very good dominant team. I mean, they dominated when they should have, you know. After that injury, they had absolutely no reason to not win this game by a lot of points. That's what they did. The, you know, the whole cupcake schedule thing doesn't make sense because in the regular season, they proved, you know, a lot of times, you know, that they're very good. Now they're in the Super Bowl. A lot of talent there. Anyway, you know, I think they'll do well for themselves in the Super Bowl. Now, after the Niners, still a lot of good for them, you know, going into the, you know, in the next season. Now, for the offseason, you need you need a new defensive coordinator because, you know, Diego Ryan just got a head coaching job with the Texans. By the way, you know, when, all, after all the head coaching, you know, hires are done, I will, you know, make a um, video talking about what I think about all the hires. You know, so even the Frank Reich hire that happened about a week ago, I'll still talk about it, but, you know, as for, I'm, I'm waiting until they're all done. But anyway, they lost a defensive coordinator. Um, they're also going to have a question at quarterback. I mean, I think they'll have a good starter next year, but who will that be? You know, because Brock Purdy had a pretty nice end of the season there, but I'm not really a big Brock Purdy guy. Trey Lance still, like, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm definitely not a Trey Lance guy at all. I definitely don't like him, but, I mean, you traded two, two first-round picks for him. How many games has he started in his career? Like, five games total in two years? Totally to give up on him, you know. Um, if he was like Zach Wilson, yeah, he started a lot of games, played bad. Maybe you can move on from from Zach Wilson if you're the Jets, but the Niners with Trey Lance, you have, you definitely have to write it out for a little bit longer. Garoppolo is definitely not coming back, um, and you know Brock Purdy. I mean, you know he is he's good, but you know he he was drafted as a backup, um, and you know only gonna be a backup unless someone got hurt. Someone got hurt, and now here we are. I mean, maybe down the line some team wants to trade for him because they like what they saw at the end of the year this year, maybe. But I mean, I think you have to start Trey Lance next year. Tom Brady, I don't think you should bring him in either. I think they would rather have Brock Purdy than Tom Brady over there starting. Regardless, still a very good team going to be around, whoever that quarterback is. Um, you know, if Trey Lance does not play well, then you have Brock Purdy right behind him. So, you know, some questions, but a very talented team still. Now, the other game was the Bengals and the Chiefs. A pretty good game, you know, close there at the end. Um, both defenses played pretty well. The Bengals, I'm sorry, the Chiefs got a lot of pass rush, mostly Chris Jones. Um, but, you know, the Bengals still kind of worked through that. Their offense started, started out slow for sure, but in the second quarter, pretty much picked it up. Um, you know, Chase had a pretty nice game. Higgins had a nice game. Um, I barely saw Mixon out there, though. I saw, like, Samaj P. Ryan mostly out there. Um, Burrow, you know, threw two picks. You know, one of them um, was kind of just lobbing it up to Higgins. You know, that's what he did on the touchdown, and it worked. So he tried to do it again, except it was tipped and intercepted. Um, the other one, I don't even remember when that was. Oh, well, actually, no, it was pretty bad throw. I remember that that one to Jalen Watson. But the Chiefs had a lot of guys go down, you know, in the game with injury. So, you know, it was, and, you know, Mahomes, of course, playing hurt. Kelsey hurt playing on that hurt back so you know great job by them to you know fight through that all and win this game you know they're definitely not the favorites they're the home team in the one seed but definitely not the favorites the Bengals were and then i did think the Bengals will win and you make that four in the last four um games that they four wins in the last four times we played each other but you know the, the chiefs won this one you know it looks like it's, this will be a pretty good rivalry you know uh, the Bengals, the super Bowl window de is definitely not closed um you know they didn't exactly play well in their offense their defense played pretty well i do want to mention by the way i shouldn't mention that at the beginning but uh, Joseph Asai played a really good game. Um, I also want to mention that like he had that really bad play. But I hope people don't forget of how good of a game he actually had. He was balling. As pretty much a rookie, he missed most of his rookie year. This is, this is basically his first year playing. It is it's basically his rookie year because because it is his first year playing. He played a very good game and it had a pretty nice season as a you know rotational guy coming in on off the edge. You know when Hubbard wasn't in or Hendrickson. You know he had a really good game. That one mistake was definitely on him. But, I mean, he had a really good game. I don't want him getting all this hate. So, you know, the game was 60 minutes. And, you know, their, their offense could have played better, as they mentioned. That punt return that they allowed also was not good of, you know, 30 yards to Sky Moore. That pretty much got the Chiefs one first down away from field goal range. So, um, you know, also, you know, a mistake there.
but you know, it's not, it's not, it's not like the Bengals played well. You know, they had multiple chances. They had the ball in, at the two-minute warning. You know, they could have scored a field goal um, and take the lead, probably winning the game if they scored on that drive. The Bengals did not play a good game, and they also blew the chances to win the game at the end, but besides the OSI, you know, penalty. So, you know, you can't just blame that on him. However, um, still, really could have won. I mean, I, I am really impressed with this team. Really good coaching staff, good head coach, good offensive coordinator, good defensive coordinator. Um, you know, they should keep their window going because, you know, Burrow's there, Chase is there, Higgins is there. They're not going anywhere. Mixon, their offensive line, you know, they're, ba- they're you know, the backups played well last week. Um, you know, they had three injuries. Um, the, the backups at other spots played well last week, but, you know, um, they still have some improvements to make there. Defensively, they look pretty good. So I'm looking forward to seeing what the Bengals look like in the future because they can definitely be a Super Bowl winning team in just a few years. Anyway, that was my conference championship week game recaps. I'm Marto, and thank you for watching.